There's a reason it's a community hole. It's because it looks like a place that should hold fish. And guess what? It holds a pile of fish. So don't overlook community holes because like you can cast checks on them, you can win tournaments, and you can have a blast catching a lot of fish there. So for me, when we're looking at a smallmouth place, I'm looking for a place like this. We've got a large obstruction or finger that, that sticks out into the lake. It could draw a current with wind left to right. You know, it's got potential to hold a group of fish. That's what you're looking for, an area that can hold a population of fish that you can fish for multiple days. Places like this that stick out, that's where it happens. You've got something that sticks out in the main river or the main lake here. I think this is actually Oneida. So don't go here, there's no fish here if you're looking at home, but just kidding, you'll catch a few. But you look for those spots that have the populations, then start simple. Like you can literally look on a map and be like, I'm gonna spend some time here. And you need to go to those places, determine if there's fish, you know, to have fun, or if you're tournament fishing, if there's enough fish there for you to do well. So start simple. You've got the main thing that sticks out. Look for simple features on that place. Like notice here, we've got points that stick out a little further than others. You've also got high spots. A lot of times on those points, there may be a little bit of rock, a little vegetation, but it's their ambush points for those fish that like to, to feed. And again, right now we're talking smallmouth. Like when they're biting, they're biting. I don't waste time on them unless they're biting. Identifying these places and uh, doing that quicker can help you get those bites a little faster. Obviously, these places, you can see them visually, they're going to get a lot of boat traffic. But this is a good, good way to find a group of fish that you can, you know, start your tournament on or start that learning process. From there, you want to get to more of that specific stuff. Maybe looking on a map here, you've got tighter contour. Tighter contour for me, it usually is harder bottom. You know, a lot of times you've got a rock edge or you've got a place where maybe current hits or something sweeps. Another great place for fish to suspend around or just ambush bait. And again, you can, you can see this on the map. So it's a place that it's going to draw anglers. And if you get, you want to start, what, for me, once I start getting bites and knowing like, okay, there's some fish here, there's some nice ones. Like, what am I going to find now that's away from the other group? That's when you got to really put your time. And notice on this, uh, kind of like a hump we got here, a little tabletop, there's a lot of ins and outs. We've got high spots, little contour changes, and there's underneath the water, there's a lot more there than that's shown. There may be a single bare spot, maybe a single boulder that is the juice. Well, to find that stuff, you got to get out there. You have to fish. You got to put your trolling motor down, scan around, use your technology. If you don't have it, I never had it before, use your eyes. Nice thing about up north, it's clean and it's clear. And when you're on these, these tabletop kind of deals, you can see what you need to see. You can look up, you can see the grass clump that they might relate to. You can see that sand spot. And a lot of times you're gonna see the fish, but they're not everywhere on these places. So you gotta hunt and you gotta look for them. But the key with that is find a place that you know is holding fish first. Don't waste time looking for the needle in the haystack unless you know you've got some needles mixed in with the hay. So that's my smallmouth tip is find the fish and then further dissect the sweet spots learning about you know what we do tournament fishing is how do you take your strengths and how do you apply them elsewhere for me it was tough to start with i want to fish very quick because that's what we do smallmouth fishing i've learned a lot about the smallmouth and i've applied it to largemouth and that's what we've done the last couple of years is how to identify these largemouth sweet spots the baits might be diff uh, different but it's really the same it's the same kind of stuff it's identifying the maps and reading the structure where these fish can pinch to now this is kind of like an up north kind of place Looking over here, you've got a giant, giant, massive lake. And there's a lot of the lake that's not, not even fishable. The fish aren't in 90% of that lake. They're in the other 10%. So I'm looking at a large pocket here. We've got a lot of water funneling in here. It's gonna have good current flow when you get a south wind. And you've also got the key to this with the northern largemouth is what is the vegetation doing? And the neat thing about it, which I like and don't like, is my rocks on Lake Erie, they don't move. I, I, 